Alrighty guys, so welcome back to ARK, where today I did have something originally planned special. It was supposed to be my first attempt at ever taming a pyromane. And well, I did it. I just forgot to hit start record. Like an genius. I can't say that word that early in the video that I wanted, but yeah. I forgot to start recording. So I do got a pyromane though. And I will show you guys it here. And I do technically got my second pyromane here as well. Now, I ain't gonna lie, here on the center. Whoa, no, 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 no. No, die. Okay. <laughs> now just imagine I see the pyromane come flying down instead of the pterodon. That would have been epic. I can't believe also as well, I just said, don't die when I hit the ground. But yeah, this is our pyromane here. I really am in a bad spot to show you how he looks up close. But for levels, we got 44 into his health and 42 into his melee. Now, technically, this is the second pyromane that I attempted to tame, but it's the first one I ever tamed. Now, the f first one I attempted to tame uh, was a bit of a learning experience. Um... So, I almost forgot to let it get into the water and nearly just killed it with a shotgun. Also, that's why I'm going to swap back over to this one here. Uh, yeah, no, we'll use the green shotgun here for this pyro main. But also, I learned that Carnos are not to be trifled with. They will and can mess you up. Bad. They can and they will. They have the power and they will use it. Okay. So, we're going to pop out here. We're going to cryo up Pterodon. Now, this next step is a little sketchy. I'd prefer for it to be raining. Okay. We're going to run past the... Oh, she spotted me. She has spotted me. Let's keep going. Okay, we got to get them in the water. Come on, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. There we go. Now, oh, perfect. We had a raptor come running over to us. We immediately do a flame absorb so we don't get any taming effectiveness loss. Now, also remember to eat the corpse. If I recall, there's more raptors over here. Yes. Okay, 145. There's two 145 males. Oh, make sure you absorb the flame just so that way you can constantly keep your health up as well. And what you do there for absorb flame is, again, a control right click. Okay, I need two more things, don't I? More stuff down here. There's just a bunch of raptors around, damn. Oh, where's that Carno? Where's the Carno? Where's the Carno? We got 25 seconds. Ooh, dire wolves! Give me your flame! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, control left click! Come on! There we go! We got a team! That's a level 100 warp and he's kind of messing me up. Damn! Go, 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 go! Flame leap! Flame leap! How does this work? <laughs> I'm just kind of jumping around. How does the flame leap work exactly? Flame trail. Okay, that's working. Nice. Okay. Whew. Let's see if we can tank this one. Oh, you're 135. Damn. Uh, maybe not. This thing actually is kind of scary. Oh, never mind. Never mind. This thing, uh... This thing was chump change. Damn. Let's get this guy. Oh no! I jumped into water! <laughs> I extinguished the flames. There's piranhas. I wonder, um... It probably doesn't count if they're if you don't have the flame. Oh yeah, because you have to absorb the flame off of them to tame them. So yeah, you can't sit there and bite a bunch of fish. But still though, these pyromanes are awesome. 
You know what we're going to do now? We're going to pop... I kind of was expecting him to be right there. Wait, where are you running to? Also, let's eat some of these raptor corpses. Free meat. Okay, I really don't know how to do that flame leap. I'm trying here. Flame boost. Oh, there we go. Flame leap. It's shift. Kind of, oh, it's moving forward and then you hit that bite. I think that's a, an attack as well. It is. So then it's control boost. And I, ah, I, oh, I dashed right into the water. Okay. I need to figure out how to control the pyromains more. Oh, you are a lot easier to tame than people were making out. Now, as well, uh, again, if you guys are wondering what my drop settings are, it is 2.5. And again, I have single player settings turned on. So, if you're wondering, again, that's how I get such high quality gear. And it does help early game, especially when I transfer a character that is high level over across maps. And yeah, I would say honestly, if I was still working on a character that I brand new started on the centered i would probably not have been able to immediately jump to pyro mains today especially if i didn't roll and uh get blossom and a little foot is the two creatures that come over but i'm pretty sure here on aberration we're just not going to be allowed to transfer creatures on to aberration we can transfer them off just not on so yeah what i'm gonna do here though is we're gonna get back to the base and we're gonna try and breed the pyro mains at least once and see what See what it's like. See what it's like with my settings. Alrighty, guys. So I got both my pyro mains out. And now you can kind of actually see a difference in the males to the females. It is just like the shadow mains. And I'm pretty sure that they are just a re... Yeah, no. They are definitely 100% just a retextured and tweaked model of the shadow main. So... And I know some people are not happy about that. The, and they also kind of just drop this creature on us by surprise. So, yeah, it kind of feels more like an official mod than, uh, and what I mean by official mod is like a mod for some reason that we have to pay for. It feels like a paid for mod that somebody threw together in the workshop, but it came from wildcard, right? I'm not saying I'm happy about it either, but... I mean, at least we got something else besides the Shosh the Storis, the Tame, uh, this time around. And it was a bit of an interesting, uh, taming method. So, I mean, take what you want from that and leave it in the comments. I might read it. But, yeah. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually get the Shadow Mains. Ooh, hold up. I actually haven't even tried to, uh, put them on my shoulder yet. And I know I can do it from this. So what do I have to do to control C to shoulder pet? Wham. Okay, what does that do? Oh, you look so cute. And you just come out like a shoulder pet. Now, um, do how do I is, is it control C to get you out like that again? No, that just makes me crouch. Do I throw you out and you just suddenly pop out big? No. No, you do not. Huh. Okay, there's got to be a way to transform you to big from my shoulder, because I saw them do it. Okay, okay. Allow AI special attack. Let's actually just turn that off for now. Um, I'm guessing, yep, ride Pyromane, then wham, we got the run. So you actually have to go in there and hit that. But you can do that, then you got wham, wham. Okay, I got an idea. Hold up. I'm not going to lie. I quite literally said it. 
hey, I got an idea. Hold up. Let me climb on my roof and jump off of it. <laughs> so. Oh, wham! And then you got the pyromane to save you. Okay. That's epic. Because that's what they did in the cutscene there is they jumped off of something and then popped the pyromane. So, or I think they all were standing still there and popped the pyromane and it just looked like they jumped off of something. But still there. I got it to work and it looked cool. Now, this is going to see if they can breed. Can you guys? You can. Alrighty, alrighty. So, now I'll let you guys know what it is when they pop out here. Um, I actually have changed my breeding settings here recently. Seems how I actually had to breed gigas and car cars. So I changed up the egg hatch speed. So, yeah. I am also planning on doing a settings video here soon. I'm just kind of making sure I got all my settings absolutely the way I want them for the video. You know? Just so that way you guys can get the best experience out of them. Also, I've been experiencing a new problem here recently. Uh, there have been jellyfish that start attacking my uh, megalodon. And I was kind of hoping pulling them up closer to the shore would stop that. And I'm thinking what I'm going to actually have to end up doing is uh, getting some foundations and going across right there and building a gate. Just so that way I can, you know, lock off uh, an area here for water tames. Or maybe if I want to, I can invest in some plant species X, place them one on each corner. So that way if anything comes swimming up, it just gets gunned down by the plant species X. And that might actually be the cheapest thing I could do. Because uh, apparently as well, with the pyro mains here. Um, hold up, let me get their poop here so I can show you it. Boop. Their poop says it can provide nitrogen to help crops grow in their plots. Would be more effective fertilizer if combined with thatch in a bin. So, yeah. I might set up uh, a couple pyromanes here. Just at least to have them generate me uh, that poop. What is it called? It's got a special name for it. Flaming medium animal feces. Also, if I'm correct here, they should fuel it for a while if they're close enough to it. No. Maybe? Let me test it on this one. Can light you back up. I need to go get wood either way. Yep. I don't know what that... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, how's your just... Ooh, 19 minutes on the baby! Or 19 seconds, not 19 minutes. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so your stats are 40 in your health, 46 in your stamina, and then your stats are 44 in your health and 42 in your melee. So you are... Not bad. Oh, no, you are not that great. You know, come here. We'll at least l get a look at ya. So quite literally, it just looks like the mini shoulder pet version. Or at least what I thought the shoulder pet version would look like. Um, the, Honestly, the shoulder pet looks a lot smaller than this one. But yeah, I figured we'd get a nice look at this one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start breeding my pyromanes together. And trying to get like a genetic library kind of combination out them. Just get their stats combined and leveled out. And get the colors bred into them that I want. Also one thing here that I've been starting to do recently while I'm breeding creatures. Is if you see here S46. That's the name I've changed the creature to. Now that stands for stamina 46. Because that's the stat I'm trying to breed off of this uh, pyromane here. And just like this one, I have H44 and M42. Of course, H for health, M for melee. So it's 44 points into health that I'm getting off of him and 42 points into melee that I'm getting off of him. So yeah, it just helps me keep track of uh, the 
was it the points that I'm getting off of them instead of me constantly having to look over with the binoculars I can just kind of look over hand free and it's like all right what what's their name again and it's age 44 right so hell 44 yeah you know just make my job a little easier as I breed these guys together what did I just whistle I think I whistled passive we're good also I just figured out actually how to set up the fire for all that stuff Oh, sorry, wrong button. If you hold E and then go down here to change fire source settings, I set that to high, and if I go over here and look, uh, it was you. I don't have fuel. Yeah, see, it just says five seconds on fuel. It has nothing in it. That is the pyro main powering it. That is awesome. All right? I don't have to use wood to power it. I can just have the, fi the fire from the pyro main charge it up and power it. Also, I wonder... If I can use the poop here to fuel the forages for the... Or if I can use the poop to fuel the forages. Does that count? No, it won't even let me put that in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just kind of, again, breed up. I'm going to let you guys know when I get my first uh, combined pair. Or first one here with the stats combined on it, you know. Okay, guys. So finally... After a good 30 minutes of breeding these guys and waiting, I think this is our sixth pyromane, so it's probably been a little bit longer than 30 minutes. I'm going to go more like 45 or so. And we finally got our first pyromane with all the stats I need from the parents on it and no mutations. And it is a male. So actually, while I'm here, options, change name. Let's do this before I forget. Health, 44. Stamina, 46. Melee, 42. And then male. I really probably don't need to mark it as male. But it's just in case I forget. Like, while I'm holding the cryopod. So, like, boom. There we go. So... We got ourselves a female pyromane here with all three stats that we need on them. So I'm going to pop out the male here. We're going to compare them. And we will go from there. Uh, I need to pull out my binoculars. My tech binocs and figure out what their stat difference is. Okay. It is quite literally the food. Every other stat is exactly the same except you know what I think I want that orange on them because uh, if you look it's kind of hard if you look side by side the flame is brighter on this one because of the orange so I'm guessing they're the what is that the number three slot in colors is the, I guess their flame color so um, yeah I think that's what I need to breed get bred into uh, these ones here. And luckily, it looks like that's the only color. Yeah. So this should be pretty easy from here on out. Like, extremely easy. So I'm having one problem with the adult uh, pyromanes and how to get rid of them. Because now, technically, I don't need these guys. They're just kind of taking up space in the base. And they're going to eventually cause some problems so I'm gonna see what happens if I just uh, throw them out here in the water and leave them because I technically can't even can I like get you high enough that I can use you as a sh platform to shoot off of at them because uh, I can't even really deal damage to them with this shotgun watch not even a scratch Go for a headshot. Yeah. Just barely, barely denting them. So what we're going to do is actually let them, these little uh, jellyfish, do the job for us. Oh, they're going after the Megalodon. Dang it. Oh my god! Give him the cryopod. What the hell? Also, make sure you don't have baby pyromanes following you out into the ocean. Uh... But I gotta stick by and make sure the job is finished with these pyromanes.
Looks like it should be. And you know what? I think we're close enough that uh, we can just go back to the base and have everything continue. Yeah, they're still out there and they're going to kill the extra pyromains for me. So that's good to know. So now I just got a guarantee to keep these things alive, which is not hard. Honestly, raising pyromains should be pretty easy. Um, I need to get meat out of the feeding trough. Uh, tch -tch -tch -tch. How much meat do I actually have? Uh, tch -tch -tch -tch. Mm, tch -tch. I used Blossom here earlier this morning. Took her to the mainland and had her chopping up people. So that way we had food for creatures. There we go. We'll go with that and then we'll drop uh, half of it on you and half of it on you. And then I got to remember to come and get that stuff back out of your guys' uh, inventory later. But when you guys swap over to the feeding trough. You know what? Actually, never mind. You guys are already on the feeding trough. I don't know why I just gave you that. Look, see? They're on the feeding trough. Alright, that's the first pyromane out there in the water killed. How close is that one? We'll keep you tracked. It should die here pretty soon. Yep, without... Now look, see? Now that all of them are targeting it. And uh, she's a gone. Oh, and it's, we legit just see a poof out in the ocean. But yeah. Now... I know we tamed both those that episode, and we just killed both of them intentionally this episode. Now, that's because, again, I don't want my base cluttered with excess creatures. Especially when I'm, what my goal is here is to breed down the shat, the, I keep calling them shadow mains as well. I'm not going to lie. We're going to keep on breeding down the pyro mains here until we get the perfect pyro main breeding pair. Then... We might try for some mutations on them for the boss. Where is the boss arena for the boss arena up there? Also, apparently they changed it. It's no longer the like the Chinese temple or the Asian temple, I guess would be the I don't know what kind of temple it was, to be honest, but it was Asian themed, I guess. Asian culture themed. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to get breeding these guys, or not technically breeding them, but I'm going to wait for these guys to finish uh, growing up, and then I'm going to start getting them combined, and then I'll get back to you guys once I got that done. Alrighty, so we got our first uh, pyromane here. It's a male. That is what we want in the pyromanes for stats, stat-wise. And what I'm actually going to do here is just leave him out. Could it because it does appear with my stats and again I am planning on doing a settings video here for you guys so you guys can have my settings and all that I'm just kind of uh, doing final touch ups making sure everything's exactly the way I want it to be for when I make that video so but I'm gonna just leave him out here I'm pretty sure he should be good he should eat I shouldn't have to actually like manually babysit him I, they should just be like immediately pop them out move them over and they'll grow up fast enough that they'll start eating out of the feeding trough and not starve to death but you also got to remember you have to have your feeding trough stocked with meat okay that's another reason why i went out this morning to uh gather meat just in case i did need to start breeding i had it and well originally breeding the pyromanes was not the plan for the day it was just kind of originally gonna, let's tame up the one, maybe a second one if it's on the map, and we're gonna call it good. But since how the recording part for the first one messed up, yeah, I decided just to tack on the breeding. And this is actually going pretty well. Um, What are you at? Uh, I actually still am waiting on you to start mating again, so I'll get back to you guys when I get the next uh, pyromane here, the female, because this one is the male. Alrighty, so we finally got a female pyromane here, and technically, 
We are done, if I'm correct, right? Your stats are all even. Your colors are even even. Yep. Also, the this one fully grew up while we were waiting. And it also proved my theory in that I don't have to give them any food. I can kind of just leave them unattended. Also, remember to unwhistle that one. And then you two. It's time to go to the farm in the sky. Yeah. We're going to send you to the farm in the sky. Megalodon, we need to take another trip out to the jellyfish. Okay, here we go. One and a two. Jellyfish are nearby. Knew that they were right there. I got kind of close when I dropped off the pyromains. Yep, there they go. They're starting to attack them. I think there's only one of them attacking right now. Maybe I can draw other ones over. I feel like that's drawn some over to them. Okay, so we're waiting on that last pyro main here to die, and I'm pretty sure it's really close. And let me check. Yeah, you're going to die here any second now. And this gal just got to adolescence here not too long ago. So once she's raised up here, I think I'm going to breed her and this pyromane together. Then I'm going to work on trying to get a cryo fridge. And I'm kind of can kind of do that here off, off screen, off episode. So because I'm actually going to call it here because I'm getting real tired. This took quite a while. Um, when I first... Uh, it's taken me an hour since I first got my... I got my very first Pyromain with all three stats on it. Because uh, originally that was about 10.27. It's now 11.20 at night. So Again, it was 10.27 at night as well. So it's been an hour, but I also had a very long day today, so... Anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified upon me posting new videos. And one last thing, I am running a YouTube channel members goal. Currently trying to reach 10 YouTube channel members. Currently have two active. It's $1.99 to join. And once you join and we hit that goal, we will be opening up an ARC server for everyone to join and play on. So yeah. Anyways, it's been Gunchamari. Sign off. Peace. <laughs>